Two adults with no kids tackle a Disney cruise together. Welcome back to your Daily Dose. Casey and I are here for some nighttime fun on the Disney Wish. We're gonna be hitting up activities that is basically only for adults. And we are here celebrating our birthday, so this is gonna include drinking at pretty much every single bar and just celebrating being adults on a Disney cruise ship. Welcome back to your Daily Dose, everybody. Let's let's go have some fun. Tonight is Pirate Night, one of the best times on a Disney cruise ship. We're gonna have plenty of costume changes. This is like my, my first go around with it. I actually just bought this in the merch shop, which I'll probably show you in this video what we are all gonna buy. But sneak peek, I bought this. Now it's okay if you forget your pirate gear. This is what we got when we came back to our room. It's a nice little handkerchief that you can uh, you can put on. This is actually different from the past years. I dig it, it's a, it's a new design. Two adults, no kids. Now it's time to show you how we cruise on the Disney Cruise Line. This is one of my secrets that I bring on board now. Not really a secret anymore, just more of a excellent hack to save a few bucks on some beers. It's always good to have a little more beer for your buck. Am I right, boys and girls? Keg and compass right this way. Make sure you check the app because everything has different hours. But the keg and compass is one that opens pretty uh, early compared to any other bar. Oh my goodness, look what we just stumbled upon. A lovely wedding. Wait, yeah, we're, that's a good idea. We're gonna leave so we're not in photos. We're gonna go this way. I wonder where the bride is. What a surprise. How neat is this that we're watching a wedding and then we're technically gonna go celebrate their wedding <laughs> and drink some beers for them. And some nice cocktails. We're, there's some really expensive drinks here on The Wish. Or sorry, yeah, The Wish. I don't know why I said I'm sorry. That we're gonna try and I'm excited. There's a rose that Casey has to try. It's got a steep price though. We gotta try it, once in a lifetime. Let the wedding begin. Dad's up there on the stairs and the bride is Coming down, Casey and I are almost tearing up. This is something special to watch. I am. Oh, you are? Well, I just saw the moment with the daughter and the dad, and they were both holding, or they were both crying, so I got emotional. Here comes the bride. Oh, she's, oh, she's waving to him. <laughs> she's waving to everybody. Talk about a grand entrance to a wedding. This is also helped out adults cruise. Casey wants to watch the ceremony, so we're gonna watch it. But we're gonna head to Keg and Compass here in a second. I gotta tell you about this hack because it's one of the coolest things on the ship. Now it's $16.50 for the beer glass mug and your first beer is also included in it, but it's a 21 ounce, not a 16 ounce. And you actually get a 21 ounce pour for a 16 ounce beer. And the cool thing too is, if you don't want to bring this around, they'll give you a token. So um, when I leave, I'm actually just bringing this on because you know I want to take it home. I haven't gotten a beer yet. They'll give you a token to take around, so you don't have to bring this around. You'll see how it is when we um, go to King Compass here. That wasn't on my uh, bingo list today, my but hey, <laughs> I'm glad we were able to see that though. That was super sweet. I've seen um, you know that they do weddings on cruise ships, but I've never actually seen one for myself. Well, there you go. There we go. It's time to drink. Let's go. Keg and Compass Adults Only. Now it opens at one and it's all the way until 12, but food, snacks does not start until five, so we may be coming back because they have a very good menu, but it actually is an upcharge, but I've heard nothing but good things. So let's head on into a Keg and Compass and get some drinks. Hello. Hi, good to see you. Here's uh, their menu that they have on tap, everything. I, I, I'm just gonna, see. I'm gonna ask him what we're gonna, what we're gonna get here because that's always what I like to do, and we're gonna go with that. The good thing is we're saving money with our lovely mug that we had purchased. Casey and I think are just gonna split them because she didn't want one, but that's okay. Be trying the beer before, which is nice. I like that. The uncharted lager is unbelievable. These are the actually the three ones that are specifically made for the Disney Wish. So we're gonna do that because we can get everything else anywhere else. 
So the, the top three, definitely try those. Now, we were just talking to uh, John here, and he was basically saying during NFL season or there's big games, they will be open serving the food. And he's like, probably on this ship, we won't be serving much food because it opens at five for snacks, but dinner's at eight for us and like five for other people. So they won't be selling too much food, but they have really good food here. And here's uh, what I was talking about here. This is the beers that are only on the Disney Wish. I got a water on the rocks with a, with a lemon. If you look up on the ceiling, you'll also be able to see some characters if you're lucky enough. You sure you don't want anything? We can, we can have two of these mugs. I'm okay. Cheers. All right, cheers. I think Casey's sticking to the cocktails that we're going to be having tonight. We're doing everything. Okay. Nightingale, Gales, uh, the Rose, and then of course, Tiana's Bayou for that bar as well. So I'm saving myself for later. <laughs> I'm... I'm starting early. We're pre-gaming, clearly. <laughs> I thought I was gonna get two, but maybe like just one is fine. I think so. But we'll see how I'm feeling after but this. But it is your birthday cruise, so you know what? Do whatever you gotta do. That is true. They have so much whiskey here. Ooh, thank you. Ooh. Some bar bites. This is the only snacks they have before five. These are nice. They're nice. Look at that one. We also just learned that you don't actually have to turn it in at Keg and Compass. You can do it at any bar here on the Wish and they'll give you like the little token and then you can pick up a new one so you don't have to bring this around. But I kind of felt like drinking this around the ship because we're actually going to the Rose to check out some of their drinks that Casey's going to get a drink now. And it it's one that's pricey. They are now married. The wedding is over. Watch how fast they'll turn this around too because characters start in like an hour. For those adults who are expecting to do exactly what Casey and I are doing, like having like a honeymoon getaway, there are kids, it is loud, it's like Disney World. So set that expectation when you come on the cruise. Like there's a lot of kids, but it's how you make the best of it. Like we're doing right now. I would say that the, the time that you feel like there's a lot of kids around is when you're in the um, Marsley Market when you're eating, especially for breakfast, it was, there were a lot of kids, and then also when you're on the pool deck. But obviously, it's a Disney cruise. Expect kids, but we're doing the we're doing the uh, more niche thing of drinking on Disney cruises <laughs> without. Kids. You also see them like when you're just walking, and they'll just run in front of you and go like, ah! kids, kids. They're having fun. Somehow we were on the world's largest cruise ship and did only one elevator and we did two here and we're kind of hooked. So up to, I think, deck number 12? Yeah, we're taking an elevator. We're taking an elevator. This is pretty heavy too. You don't really want to be, I don't know why it's focused on Casey. There we go. I don't know why. I don't even know what I was saying. Let's go. <laughs> I lost my train of thought. All right, go 11 then. <laughs> go. Disney Cruise, and we're cruising away. All right, Case, where are we going? We are going to the Rose, and I'm ready to vibe. Now, we did go up here a little bit before off camera because Case wanted to see. It's really cool to go through the Rose because it's you can't see through the other side. I know, I think that's really, really cool. Thanks, darling. Welcome to this fine establishment. The Rose. We're kind of coming a little bit late here. They only have about 30 minutes of operation left, but it's a beautiful setting yeah, and some nice drinks. They do reopen again later. And there's the Rose. Love it. Let's head on in. This is also where Enchante is. Tons of lighting. I think brunch just ended. Quick little overlook of the rose. It's beautiful. I've actually never gotten a drink up here before. I've walked in this area. I just have never had time on the ship to really enjoy this space. Paolo is over there. I've yet to dine at Paolo either. We chose a spot over here. We're the only ones up here at the moment. 
which is a very like elegant experience, as you can tell by that. And look at this, I don't know what this is, but it was Patron, but it looks really expensive. $500 pour? Oh, okay, yeah, so I was right, it is expensive. <laughs> okay, so you want a $500 pour? beverage will do just fine. Is that what you're gonna wanna get? You wanna get the rose? I don't know, I don't know if I need that one. He did say the presentation wise, these two are the ones to get. Which ones? The Mrs. T or the rose. This one does sound really good and it's much cheaper. I know, he but said you're only in the wish, you know, once in a while. I know, but he did say that um, this one is one of the most ordered along with the old fashioned. The monkey spritzer. Huh. Well, we gotta get the most ordered one, so we gotta try that. And do you want the rose? Is it? Do you think you want it? Just by looking at it without the price? Mm, I guess I can't. Oh, well, that's passion fruit green tea. I could probably be fine with that. I say we get the rose. Let's get the rose. I had intended to get that for you. So let's do it. The rose in the monkey spritza. It's like a dinner price. We got this. <laughs> We gotta show YouTube what it is. I don't even know what it looks like. Let's get the rose. Now this is the side of like a Disney cruise ship that I haven't seen in the past. Kind of like the more relaxing. We might be going to see the Little Mermaid tonight. We also have Aladdin tomorrow. So we're just gonna see what we have time for because we don't know if we have time for the hyperspace lounge because there's it, it, everything happens quick. The nice thing is they're open late, 12. I think one is, some, one open till one, the bayou. Let me, let me verify real quick. The bayou is open till one, so we can push that back. I mean, the nightlife is longer than I thought on a, on a Disney cruise, so that's fine. We have options, we have options. I mean, honestly, this was such a great deal. A 21 ounce for 16 ounce pour was nine bucks. Like, you can't beat that. And then of course we're getting one that's $51 here and then 18, you know. I'd rather stick the beer, but I gotta show you the options, guys. And now I can uh, turn this in at the Rose and I'll get like a little little token. So when I go somewhere else, I can get my 21 ounce pour, or my 21 ounce glass and 16 ounce pour. Cool. That wasn't, you said 16 ounce pour in your 21 glass. <laughs> you guys know what I mean. 21 ounce glass at a 16 ounce price. He's called us over, he's, gonna be making our drinks. I think this is, I think that's mine right there. That's pretty. And your rose is getting made oh. over here. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, this looks good. Perfect. See, I've learned that my camera likes to focus on people in the background versus actually what's in front. There we go. I like that bottle. <laughs> oh, baby. Okay. So this is our signature cocktail, the rose. It is made of Comos Reposado Rosa tequila, Grad Mani Coupe, and Berry Juice. Oh, thank you. Welcome. Enjoy. Yeah, you get a rose and... I will accept this rose. The drink. <laughs> it's such a pretty rose. Wow. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Do you want to just sit here or do you want to move over? Let me go back there. Okay. Thanks, okay. thanks. Thank you. I did just get my little beer <laughs> token here that I can exchange for that mug again. Now I don't have to carry it around. Look at Casey creating content, guys. Look at her. I'm gonna I'm gonna link her Instagram right here. I haven't really shouted her you out too much, but there it is, babe. Go go follow her. Look at how cool these these uh, glasses are because they have you have the blue one, I have the red one. Oh, right, you gotta you gotta try it. This is a fifty one dollar drink. It smells it smells good. It smells like tequila. Now is it good? Is it worth the price? Because I don't think we've ever had something like that. This is really interesting. Is that the most expensive drink you've ever tasted? Quite possibly. It's probably the most expensive I've ever had. Um, hold on, one more second. <laughs> Priorities. 
I love how they give you a rose, too. I don't know how to describe it, other than, like, I can I can taste tequila, but it kind of, like, that punch with the tequila is kind of knocked out if you don't really taste that. <laughs> what? That's good. That's dangerous. Yeah, no, I know. That's what I'm so, but it has, like, a, a little bit of a smoky flavor, almost like a mezcal tequila. It's really good, actually. You gotta try it. Yeah, I'll try it. Just a little sip. It's more for you. Oh, he's bringing our petals back. Mm. We also got chocolates that came with the rose, too. So look at that. We get a rose and chocolates. What a steal. Oh, and petals, guys. These are real. Let's do it. Oh. It smells like tequila. But this smells like strong. How? It tastes no, like water. No, it doesn't taste like Yeah, but no, but like it goes down so smooth. I know. That's why I was wow. like. Wow. Smelling it, you would think it's, it's like straight out of a tequila bottle. It is one of the smoothest drinks I think I've ever had in my life. Mm -hmm. But that's why. This is worth 51 bucks. Oh, yeah. That's crazy. My initial reaction was not that I didn't like it. It was just like, I was trying to think about like what it reminded me of or how to describe it. But it really honestly, like it doesn't taste like water, but it goes down extremely smoothly. Yeah. Like, like Kyle said. It's got like that bite where you want to have another sip and another sip and another sip. Cause you're trying to figure out what does it remind me of? Now, Casey drink, amazing. Now let's try mine. It's like okay, the monkeys. I haven't tried it yet. Let's give it a go. Mmm. doesn't smell like Casey's. <laughs> Oh gosh, these are some elevated drinks. I hope so. <laughs> it tastes a little bit like watered down in a way, but it's like strong in the same sense. Try it. Well, you've also had it here sitting while we were doing the presentation, so. It's true. It's good, isn't it? Ooh. Mm. Mm. It's like a very simple light <laughs> drink to, to have. I can see why this one is a very popular drink. It's also, this one's a spritzer. So it is supposed to be lighter and a little more refreshing than, I don't know, than, yeah, than <laughs> that. <laughs> Case wants to eat the chocolate. Ooh. Ooh -hoo -hoo. <laughs> it's a fancy chocolate. It probably came from Palo or something. Wow. Is that good? Really? I know you're not the biggest fan of chocolate. It was really good. I like milk chocolate. Is it milk? No, it's dark chocolate. Oh no. But it's almost like a, more of like a, so it's like harder on the outside and a little bit more like a mousse on the inside. Not quite a mousse. Like a fudge. That's a better way to say it. Oh, it's like it. a brownie. Kind of, kind of tastes like, yeah, like a fudge in the middle. I don't know if I'm going to fare with dark chocolate. Just for some reason, dark chocolate. We don't go together. It's not bad. Right? It's not as sharp as like, regular dark chocolate. It's actually pretty good. Do I dare say this might be better than a keg and compass because we got some fancier drinks here, but I do, I do love my beer. I do love my beers. Fair game to say if you want a more elevated experience, come to the Rose. It's very quiet and like we're the only ones here. <laughs> it's kind of funny. I dig it. Not sure if you can hear it, but our horn has been Sounding for like over a minute. I think something wrong with Disney Wish's horn. I think I saw this like, I, I don't know, we're gonna find out. It's been going for like minutes. I did see a, a TikTok, um, I think it was like, what, like a month ago? It was until like one or two in the morning that it was, it was, or like they got woken up to the horn going off and it was going off to the different Disney tunes. That might be happening again. And the curse of being a vlogger. As soon as you get outside, it has stopped. But hey, that's a good thing though. Now this is the longest I've ever seen the line for the Aqua Mouse. It says 30 minutes, but I've never seen it that long before. I can definitely see the fun. Oh my goodness. Oh, thanks Case. They just repainted this. I can definitely see the fun of hanging out on the pool deck with kiddos, but adults of two with no kids, no thanks. You know what we should do? Let's go to the adult only section. The back of the ship. Follow us. <laughs> this is funny. 
So as you can see, no one's in this pool. The kiddo made a poo poo in the pool. So it's at least five hours to get this back up and operational. It goes quick. We gotta do that tomorrow, babe. Fun fact, there's actually a hidden bar back here and it's actually up here and that is the crew bar. So sometimes if you come out here past midnight, 1, uh, 1 a.m., you'll hear all the crew partying up there. If you guys saw yesterday's vlog, it's technically still the same day, but we're stopping at the Cove bar. We're getting two espresso martinis to go. Do those count as Mickey's? I don't know, comment down below. This one. Kind of, I don't know. Kind of looks like a bunny footprint. These espresso martinis are unreal. It doesn't count for, unfortunately, I don't know why, but I think it's because it has alcohol for a little like mm -hmm. free. If you buy five coffees, you get one free. This doesn't yeah. count. But this is unbelievable. It's way better than Royals and that's saying yeah. a lot. Honestly, it doesn't matter that it doesn't count because it's worth it to get it anyway. I just told him he should wake me up with one of these in the morning. That's how amazing it is. It is a chugger, guys. It's so good. It is a chugger. Wow. Carry A plus. on. A plus. Encanto? Oh my gosh, Encanto! Casey got camera shy. <laughs> she saw other people and was like, I can't put on a concert. <laughs> I get camera shy. <laughs> you know what's funny? You put on a concert for people. Like, you know, let's say this gets 30,000, 40,000 views and there's just one person walking by. I get it too. Because to me, I'm only performing for Kyle. <laughs> that sounded bad, but no, I don't forget about any of you. It's just in the moment, I just, I'm performing for Kyle. No, that's what I do too. It's, it's all good. It's all good. <laughs> I love you guys. We're just going back to the room for like a hot second and then onward with the show. Espresso martinis from, these are so good. I could chug it, but like, I don't want to. It's like, it's so good. good. This is the energy we need, but also remains party mode on the cruise. That's why we love them so much. Okay. We just got back in the room and we've been here for a while. Then I just get to the corner. I'm like, babe, we have strawberries. I was so confused. I thought they just magically appeared, but honestly they might have because Mickey has so much magic. He might have been like, snapped his fingers and they appeared. I gotta try one of these right now. Yeah, I, wanna try I gotta try one of these right now. Thank you, Disney Cruise Line. Thank you. Let's try. Cheers. Nice little, well, I'll let you have the first bite. Uh-uh, you go. Okay. Mmm. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. That was a two-biter for you, huh? Mm-hmm. I didn't really expect <laughs> the strawberry to be that fresh. It's fresher than Publix. Before I hand this rose out, I would just like to say it has been a, a very tough decision. <laughs> Kyle, when you're ready, it's the final rose. When you're ready. <sighs> Casey. <laughs> Saying thank you to your fans. <laughs> Sorry, you didn't get a rose. <laughs> Casey. Will you accept the final rose? Always. Thank you. The final rose. <laughs> the final? The final. It's you, baby. <laughs> it's you. It's you. We don't even know what we're doing right now, and that is adulting on a cruise right now. When you have no plans. Oh, we wanted to eat. Oh, so we That's have why to we're go going up. up. Okay, elevator. elevator. <laughs> we have failed the challenge. Oh, your wish is come, come true. <laughs> her wish did come true. We have it all to our side. They're really tiny elevators, guys. They're really narrow. They're, they're like a normal length. They're just very narrow. Very. I like it. Wishes do come true. We wanted to try more of Mickey's and friends. We're gonna get some burgers. And I don't think it's gonna be a long line right now, which is what we're trying to do. Oh, Goofy's Grill. I have yet to try these burgers and I'm so pumped. Here's the menu that we're working with. We're obviously gonna get a burger, but crispy chicken tenders 
upon request. I'm gonna request that. And I think Casey's gonna get, what'd you say? The grilled bratwurst. Grilled brat. Look at this. Look at this. Oh boy. We are in trouble. See why I always skip the Marceline market, guys? Like, you can't, you can't beat this. It's fresh. Thank you so much. They have ketchup, mustard, honey mustard, and mustard, and mayo. And by the way, guys, you're still seeing dinner tonight and pirate night. Downstairs is always so flooded with people. You come up a few decks, here's our food. And not as noisy, and it's covered too. I'm intrigued. Doesn't this look good? It does. And then Casey's brought with mustard and missing ketchup. She doesn't like ketchup. It's a very good burger. To me, it's better than most burgers that are in Disney parks. It is so good. If you guys saw in yesterday's vlog, this is why I don't like going to the Marceline Market because Mickey's and Friends is so good. Barbecue, tacos, burgers. It's really all you need. And on a three-day cruise, I'm eating the best food possible. This is it right here. This is one of the options. You know you go to Disney World too much when you hear Toy Story music and think you're at Hollywood Studios in Toy Story Land. Feels kind of weird. I'm hearing all like the attraction music that you, you know, wait in the queue and hear. Um, but we're at sea. We're in Nassau, Bahamas. I didn't like the chicken tenders as much, but kids will will probably love it. One of the nice things about this cruise ship is automatic doors. No need to like wave your hand or anything. We are on the concierge staterooms and suite level. They have the one and only Rapunzel and they're like a very bright white type room here. I think they have a little bit more room and they all have, no, just kidding. They all do not have doorbells, but very expensive to be on this floor, so props to you if you're here. It's a, it's a blessing. I feel like I need to cut off an arm and a leg to do concierge. I think it's four floors. It's not cheap to fly or fly <laughs> to sail a concierge. I think I've showed you guys on my very first cruise. But on floor eight, we have laundry. Do you need to push that? I mean, on a three-day cruise, you... Oh, there's a duck. Take it. This is very rare. This is very rare. I don't, I don't know how we're finding ducks, but we're, we're finding ducks. You can do laundry if, if needed. It's not free. But it is available. Somebody is doing it. Maybe they had a spill. This reminds me of my Disney college program because it kind of is the same feel. They have ironing board, ironing boards. I don't need to do any laundry, thankfully, on a three-night cruise. But hey, emergency causes, or if an emergency happens, it is here. How many of you do laundry after a day? Because I don't feel like it's necessary as long as you pack enough. But I don't know. It's here. So maybe you utilize it? Did you say how much it was? I didn't look. You and I, you didn't say. I didn't look, sorry. We're back in the keg and compass. Hey, we're back. It's about four o'clock and not too many people are back in the keg and compass. So that's kind of nice if you know, you guys are beer drinkers and kind of get a whole place to yourself on like a non NFL day. Cause that's what they said when they were really hopping. But we got another one, but Casey went across the way to play some bingo in the, the Luna Lounge. I don't know where she is. I think she's in line to get a ticket. But hey, adults play bingo, right? Of course. When there's a $5,000 jackpot, of course we got to play. I got the 24 card. It's a $40 handset. Good to see you guys. How are you? Hi. We're good. Hello. Hopefully we win. Uh, $40 for 24 cards, and this is the lowest tier that will do it for you. 
So I at first was gonna just do a three pack one, and the lady, the cast member, said at least do the one that does it for you. So I upgraded. <laughs> this is the only uh, casino on a Disney cruise, so we'll we'll see if we win. <laughs> This is my hot take at Bingo. It's fun, but I'd rather play slots. Nah, not really? a Disney cruise. Yeah, I'm just saying on a cruise in general. I just love slots. There's no, there's no casinos on a Disney cruise. But if we win, I'll be all for Bingo. We're one away. We need a B5. I've never been one away before. No. No. Wow, you guys are really quiet. <laughs> no, one number away. Ah, oh, we got like three winners. I have better luck at slots. It's still fun though. It must do. Casey wants to go see Chippendale. I'm gonna sit here in case this is Chippendale. Donald! Number one, oh my gosh, she's in this pirate stuff. Wait until tonight when we have the Kiss Canite. We haven't seen it yet on this cruise series, but uh, we'll have a pirate Kiss Canite. What, what do you see, Case? I see Chippendale in their adorable pirate outfits. You also see Captain Hook down here, and Donald is meeting right now. So we've got go. quite the lineup. Sure enough, Chippendale and Captain Hook. We are meeting on the main stage. Chip and Dale actually have a huge line at the moment. Tonight we are dining at 1923, which is right here in the Grand Hall. I wonder if we're going to be the Walt side or the Roy side. We'll find out at literally like 8. We have second dining, which I greatly prefer. Can you hear what's playing over the speakers? Oh, well, it was pirate theme music. Oh, I did hear that. <laughs> we gotta get transformed into pirates. I said, "Arr!" and I scared this girl in front of us. Arr! Shivin' me, Timbas. I didn't even mention, there's fireworks tonight, too. Woo! Arr, mateys! We are ready for pirate night. If you guys didn't know, actually my my picture for my YouTube account is from pirate night, my very first cruise ever back in um, 2000 and was that 18? No, I think 19, 2019 was my first ever, but we are ready. You look so cute. We're ready. You look like a, such a pirate, my goodness. Ahoy, matey. He even bought a shirt for this. I did, wait he till you see it. He dressed for the occasion. <laughs> you kind of see it. You, you, you can kind of see it, but yeah. wait till you it see so it and see it. We get to say our favorite thing. Yo. Yo ho. Although I don't like singing that on a cruise ship. Yo <laughs> ho. It's pirate night. Arr. Here we go. Ho, ho. <laughs> Yo -ho -ho. We got our outfits on. I have to I have a show to catch. I have five minutes to get to the the theater because I'm gonna go see Little Mermaid. She's gonna see Little Mermaid. Are you gonna see it? I've tried twice and Yeah, it's kind of... just gonna be a solo night, so I'm gonna go. Okay. Have fun. Bye. You guys have fun. Bye NASA! See you in very soon. <laughs> Stay tuned. Next cruise is very soon. The thing is I've tried twice on the wish to watch this. I know this show is not for you, but I know it's for Case, so Case is gonna do her own thing. This is the one time we're, we're splitting up. No harsh comments down below. We agreed this is the best thing for her and the best thing for me. Keep, yeah, keep going now. Cause you wanna go on these stairs, these stairs are gonna be flooded. So keep going, go, 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 go. Go, go, go. This is the fastest I've seen Casey walk on this ship. This shirt is actually from Amazon, by the way. We're dropping off Casey. I'm gonna walk my girl to her seat. We got Carly on stage announcing. I'm getting ready for the... I forgot, The Little Mermaid. <laughs> I was like, what is this show? I decided to join Casey. We are gonna watch together. 
right, here we go. <laughs> Bravo! <laughs> Casey's waiting to give her review while she shops. Who knows what she wants? We whoa! It looks like it's gonna rain out. Well, did you like it? I loved it. I thought it was so so good. Actors were incredible, and I really liked the stage sets. The other thing I really liked is that they were kind of interactive, so they were going through the, the aisles, and there were a couple times that Flounder um, came up and like high fived people. So I thought that was cute. Did he hi high five us? No. Oh. May not look like it, but this area is packed now after the crowds dumping. We'll probably come to the bayou, Tiana's bayou. Ooh. After um, dinner. We're gonna head on in to Nightingale's before dinner, and I've been wanting to try this forever now. One of the peak hours is gonna be 7.30 because that is when live entertainment begins. 7.30, and this opens in like to like 12, 12.30. One of the coolest things about this area is that it's a piano bar based off the song Sing Sweet Nightingale in Cinderella. He's swinging while washing the floors. We're gonna get the, well, I'm gonna get the, bla the glass bird drink, and we'll see what Casey gets. The drink I'm getting is the Sweet Nightingales. Same uh, little bar snacks as uh what we saw before they're really good yeah let's do it there is the nightingales thank you so much so i believe my last cruise in december believe it or not they didn't have any more of these cups because unfortunately we have some bad eggs in the world and people started stealing these unfortunately you can't purchase this It'd be nice because it's pretty darn beautiful. Casey, what did you get? I thought you were going to get like an air bubble, but it just looks like it's uh, champagne. Well, I got it. Dreams come true. It's gin and elderflower. I love gin. It's, it's definitely my liquor of choice. Um, although I'm kind of sad that mine didn't come in this fun glass like yours did. But I'm allergic to passion fruit, so I can't be drinking that one. I don't know how to cheers in this glass, but cheers. Cheers. I'm drinking out of the butt. <laughs> Ooh, that's good. For me, this is a chugger. Yeah. This is very passion fruity. I don't know if you're gonna like it. And you might need an epipen. Well, She's kind of allergic no. to passion fruit. I'm like, I'm minorly allergic. I can usually do away with the juices, which is why I can have pop juice. But if it's fresh passion fruit, that's when I get a little bit of a reaction. So I'm willing to try it because <laughs> it's not like life or death. Yeah. What the heck? Mm. It's a chugger. Mm. I love these glass straws too. It's a chugger without even having that to say really it. Good. Drinking it's out of really the butt good. of a bird that just symbolizes a chugger. <laughs> By the way, we're still in Nightingales, but they do a special Pirates Night, a little kiss goodnight, 7, 30, 10, and 11. There's a special little kiss goodnight versus the original one, which we haven't seen yet on this trip. Three times for you to check it out here in the Grand Hall. As we have some nice, elegant music, y'all want to see a magic trick? Watch this disappear. Oh it tastes like pog juice with alcohol. Oh, Chippendale are up there. Oh my god, I gotta see. <laughs> we'll see Chippendale, don't worry. It's pirate night. Ahoy, mateys. We're having fun right now because we're just taking pictures of all the different backdrops. 
We don't know if we're gonna actually purchase any, but you know, if, if one of them is really amazing, we gotta buy it. Before you head on into dinner, make sure you know your table number. It says in your app, we are table 604. And we're kind of like road dropping in a way. And then we go so quick. Let's find out what table we're at. 604. I don't know where we are. We're just getting guided on in. We're headed this way. We'll see where Casey goes eventually. Oh, we're right here? We got this big old table to ourselves. Nice little cubby, y'all. I'll take it, 1923. Thank you, Disney. Again, the, the big hookup was Disney Cruise Line. They allowed us to sit by ourselves. How nice. Now, here in 1923, this is a perfect one for Pirate Night, because Pirate Night, you want to try to get out as early as possible if you have late dining to try to get up for Pirate Night and the fireworks to get a good spot. But there's actually over a thousand props and pieces of art that set the scene and you'll get a peek of how Disney animation has evolved from Snow White and the Seven Dwarves all the way to Frozen 2. It's very cool and Roy and Walt are uh, separated as we saw a little bit earlier. Well here's a look at our menu but I really love that or uh, servers actually will be rotating on into whatever dining experience we have for the night. I don't know what we want but this is definitely more relaxed than or previous vlogs at Frozen. It's just a nice relaxing time at 1923, kind of taking in the animation of Disney. I haven't seen any Snow White. I think Snow White is gonna be more on the Roy side. Here I've seen uh, Frozen, Pocahontas, Moana, and then Pinocchio. We'll see what we decide to eat. The main event is coming a little bit later. Pirate night, baby. We've got some honey butter tonight. Oh, it's pretty hard to top the onion butter from last night. And then we got some regular butter, olive grain bread, olive bread, and multi grain bread. That onion butter is delicious. Do not get tricked and go. I, I don't know why I said onion. Honey butter. Do not get tricked and go for the regular butter. Get the special butter. <laughs> it's great. Appetizers are coming, and I got the burrata mozzarella cheese and prosciutto di Parma. It's a crisp cranberry and sunflower seed filo with charred blood orange. This is a really good starter to get. The burrata can't go wrong with burrata. I'm sometimes picky about prosciutto, but this one is really good. Sometimes I feel like it doesn't taste the best, but I'm really, really liking this one. And this um. I think it's called a phyllo. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Very tasty. And I got the Hyperion Fort Cheese Tricolor Tortellani. What a name is that? Lemon artichoke, sun dried tomatoes, which I can't wait for, and baby spinach. Woo, baby spinach, baby. You know, all I gotta say is I wish there was more than five pieces for me to, to divulge in because it's all you need to know. It kind of reminds me of Space 220 quality of the food that are, that there is because you know met Disney parks every day and that's what I had most recently and it's so good I don't know how I forgot about this because I ordered it but I got the fennel barlet pear and tatsui salad manchego cheese walnuts and sherry dressing if I pronounce something wrong well that's just me Appetizers were incredible and now it's time to move on to the entrees I got the pasta um, I believe it's the tortiglioni pasta. I don't. I definitely butchered that. But it's prosecco cream with pancetta, shallots, and lemon thyme. It also comes with mushrooms, but I asked for those to be removed. And then Kyle got the 1923 peppered filet mignon, buttered long green beans. Oh, that's why he got it. Long green beans. <laughs> Um, smoked bacon, crushed fingerling potato hash, and a pink pepper cafe au lait. I love pasta. This is fantastic. The pancetta adds that nice salty flavor. And then I also got it topped with some Parmesan cheese. Listen guys, this is actually delicious. And for Disney medium ram, this is great. Cause they, um, they're more on the safe side when it comes to meat versus like Royal Caribbean. But this, this is good for cruise ship food. I'm I'm digging it. It's seasoned pretty well. 
Honestly, tonight is actually a really good night to be where we're dining because it's really quick and we need to get up top to eventually reserve our spot for a pirate night. And uh, this is a really quick restaurant to be dining the second night. Um, we'll see what we get here. We'll see what we get here for dessert. It's been, it's been quick. Here's Casey's churros. There's mini churros and I got this signature, which is kind of like a little cheesecake in a way. Now I may be crazy, because it has been a while since I've had one, but this kind of tastes like a Disneyland churro to me. Definitely not a Walt Disney World churro. <laughs> I gotta try a churro. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. This is a really fresh churro. This is a Disneyland churro. This is a Disneyland churro. I am the sweet tooth. And Casey won again in dessert. I'm telling you, get the churros. It's just like Disneyland and I want to go so bad now. I could cry. One of the absolute best things about having 1923 during Pir Pirate Night is we have basically 45 minutes until the fireworks and the show. Super quick. I love that. Good food. Good time. We love our servers. Melwin, we love you. Turn the light on to show y'all. Oh my goodness, or turn down service. Is that a balloon? Yeah, we've got a balloon. Oh, look. Oh, we got our, our chocolate pirate coins. That's important for tonight. That is very important. Oh, this is so sweet. Wait, I've never seen this before on a cruise ship. A heart balloon. A Foster, if you guys have A Foster, he is excellent. We love him. Wow, we got rose petals. How oh, cool. Incredible. And now we're about to see some lovely fireworks. What a night. It's 9.55. Plenty of space to go around. We're gonna go up here. This is one of the best spots. It's time for the show on the stage here for Pirate Night, and then following this will be the fireworks. We can't miss it. Couple minutes to show time, it, it gets packed. It really does. And fireworks shoot off over there, FYI, but I've never actually seen fireworks from this angle, so we're gonna see how good it is. Oh, here comes the, the party. Yo-ho, yo-ho. Pirates like for me. Yo-ho! 
I'm getting stuck in my head all night. Oh, they got a show too. I know. I was on a ship that got to see fireworks. Honestly, I think I prefer watching the fireworks and where we watched it tonight. It just added like an extra special type of way to watch fireworks, especially at sea. So make sure you watch where we watched it from. Or just like on that side. It doesn't have to be exactly where we were. It's just beautiful. The last opportunity for the kiss goodnight. However, I think we're going to go in Mickey's main, main sales. But we're going to show you guys that in tomorrow's video on all the merch that they have on the ship. We didn't quite make it to two of the bars, but it's okay. We still have got two more vlogs coming for you. Got one more day, but we're splitting those up in two as well. We're here for the kiss goodnight pirate themed. And then we go in goodnight. A kiss goodnight pirate's night theme. Well, everybody, that is going to be it for your Daily Dose. We'll catch you tomorrow. Two more vlogs coming from The Wish. And that was all she wrote. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. What a day. What a day. What a night.